Hi friends, I would love to just chat with you a little bit about what it means to be a shepherd leader during a time of crisis, uh, the likes of which I've never seen in my lifetime. My name is Dave Ron. I'm on the uh, Presence Point board. What a privilege it is to be a part of that group and part of that team that supports the vision and ministry of Presence Point. Uh, shepherds as Leaders is, uh, is an amazing uh, thoughtful, reflective uh, way to engage in caring for people very well. And I, I think of those three points uh, that are sort of, you know, almost sit right on you as uh, a good shepherd uh, engages in the presence and protection and provision for the sheep that he or she has under their care. I'd like to take you to a story from Jesus' ministry uh, to illustrate where I'd like to uh, highlight today. Um, this comes from Luke chapter 8. It's uh, familiar. One day Jesus said to his disciples in verse 22, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and started out. As they sailed across, Jesus settled down for a nap. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke him up, shouting, Master, Master, we're going to drown. When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and the raging waves, and suddenly the storm stopped and all was calm. Then he asked them, Where's your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Well, clearly the disciples had not yet figured out the scope of Jesus' authority. But what was interesting to me is um, in the moment of crisis, as they were uh, characterized as being in real danger, um, they looked to Jesus, and they especially looked to him probably at that moment for protection. And um, I think that in moments of uh, desperation, we are we elevate protection and probably we elevate even provision like where will the next meal come from i know i know my dog is a very dutiful dog loves me and my wife susie um and for the most part kind of pays really good attention to us and and uh and seems to care about us when we get food in our hands uh he turns into i don't care about you anymore i just want your snack i just want your food so he was he's looking for provision all the time. God wants to elevate his presence as the center point for both provision and protection in our lives all the time. Uh, I've had a chance to engage in a study the last few years about joy, and I've got a book coming out next fall on that topic with the youth cartel. Uh, helping disrupt teens with joy. And our conviction is that joy comes with Jesus. It's part of the presence that we uh, experience with Jesus. And in his presence, he brings along joy. He brings along provision. He brings along protection. It was his presence, even in napping in the back of the boat as the waves were washing over that his followers could rest. Now, they hadn't learned that yet. And um, it's the presence that sort of changes their, everybody's game. So that's why social distancing right now is a real challenge for us, right? We can't be near people, except we can, can't we? We can establish a presence just like we're doing via video or Zoom calls or FaceTimes or text messages or phone calls or all kinds of ways that you can connect to people and bless them with your presence. And it's reassuring. Uh, that's how shepherds lead, like the good shepherd has led us. In his presence flows protection and provision. God bless.